When car companies introduce new cars to the media these days, it seems we don't spend any time talking about engines and suspensions. It's all about connectivity. We get some tall, skinny dude with the earrings and the tats and the spiky hair telling us about how they can tweet and Facebook and email and use Slacker and Pandora. Meanwhile, of course, we're driving into bridge abutments, so they have to come up with technology to keep us from doing that. And I started to think, if you know what Pandora and Slacker are, chances are you are a slacker. You're living in your parents' basement. If you have a job at all, you're probably flipping burgers at Mickey D's. You can't afford a new car. Who are they trying to sell these cars to? Well, you know, this all started with the BMW 7 Series a bunch of years ago with the infamous I drive. I drive. No, no, you drive. I'm not going to drive. Who buys that car? 80-year-old guys who make enough money to pay off the Greek national debt. The only reason they marry young women isn't to have sex. It's just so they can find somebody who can work the remote. These guys can't handle this stuff. Even modern cars, even regular cars now, they got all this fancy technology. Why doesn't somebody come up with a car aimed at the kind of people that can actually buy them? Forget about room for your golf clubs. Where are you going to put your shuffleboard sticks? How about a place to put your walker? Maybe, maybe you can grind the windshield to the prescription of your multifocal glasses. Maybe you have a place to recharge your hearing aid batteries. Now, where was I going with this? Damn it, I forget.